Hello there, my name is Tom Squalo and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things trading, finances and money in general. Today, a special topic and that is when should we anticipate the next stock market crash and whether you should buy any stocks today. Watch till the end. Look, it's so beautiful outside and it's a Friday, but I'm doing a lot of work. I slept like three hours and now it's about time for us to discuss this really important topic because this crash is coming. Like the doomsday is on its way and there are many reasons and indicators why that is. And if you're into stocks, uh, you probably want to hold off. So let me drink some coffee, sit down comfortably and uh, we'll get cracking. And as always, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I make a new upload. And please do comment, let me know your thoughts if you agree with me or you don't agree. And as always, like the video, I really love to see the likes. Cheers and thank you in advance. Alrighty, let's just uh, jump right into it. They're all gray, I don't know what, what this cup is, but the, the coffee was okay. So I do have some notes here, just to make sure that I don't miss anything. I'm gonna try to keep it as straightforward as possible. And if you've been following the stock market or any of the big stock guys and Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, etc., then you probably already know that the market right now is like completely overvalued. There are many indicators, many technical indicators that are just saying that it's about to pop and uh, what's happening in the market right now is pretty crazy and only those huge investment banks and the people who are dealing with billions of dollars and they cannot really have that very much cash so they cannot really they don't want to liquidate their positions so these are going to be the ones who are still going to be have, having portfolios but if it go, comes to my opinion if whether you should be investing into stocks right now this is something that we'll discuss I'll discuss in the end of the video so let's start by talking about 2020 crash so as you might remember beginning of the COVID we had this uh, downturn and the S&P 500 went down like 31% and it went down in like 30 days more or less give or take and then it came back within also a very short period of time so if you look historically this is gonna be like the fastest uh, the most rigid crash ever taking place in the market which was already quite strange and then the prices just skyrocketed into all-time high even though just rationally we're actually going into recession and the all the economic uh, situation was and still is not exactly the best but Nasdaq and S&P 500 they just keep going higher and higher and making all-time highs and all-time highs the question is on what and to be honest in my personal opinion is just hot air is just greed and tech companies and a few other aspects now of course when all of that considered and we'll discuss a few interesting things that you could pay attention to yourself as a beginner investor and it is evident that a correction is coming and the correction can be anywhere from about some some are saying that 10 to 20 percent overall but some are saying that we could go far beyond the point of the crash of 2020 so right when the COVID began if that would be the case then this crash would be like humongous like 50 percent correction or something as crazy as that this would actually mean a huge opportunity but that's something we'll discuss clo closer to the end of the video and just in general if you look at all the communities and all the people that actually are talking about stocks a lot there are already memes being made that the stock market the, how overvalued the market is and right now if you buy any stock pretty much almost any stock at this time is going to be like buying a burger instead of for five dollars buying it for like 10 to 15 dollars so everything in S&P 500 for example is going to be on average valued twice as high of its fair value so it's twice as overvalued so to speak and this is something that even historically has been for example in the biggest crashes that we had and in 2008 as well and if you look at all the data and I'm gonna bore you with all the technical details but just to give you an overall understanding of what's about to happen that all the crashes beforehand looked pretty much similar and this one in some uh, instances is actually looking even worse so that's why some are saying that we could go far below the, uh, the low of 2020 when COVID just began. And one more super important factor to keep in mind is that the interest rates currently are super low again. I don't want to bore you with details, but just a quick small technical detail. The interest rates are around like all time low, which is like 0.25%. So whenever you keep your money in the bank or in treasuries, you're gonna pretty much get jack. You'll get nothing for the money uh, that is parked in treasuries. So that means that everybody tries to keep their money in the stock market. So the 
morning does something and you know it runs faster than inflation and hopefully runs better than uh, the s p 500 but at the same time it also means that uh, the fed and the federal government they cannot keep the interest rates so low for too long so at some point and probably in near future fed is going to be increasing the interest rates which of course will mean that a lot of money a lot of the money will be pulled out of the stock market and uh, back into treasuries for safekeeping and to writing this correction. So this is just basic 101 of investing, understanding the cycle. So when the interest rates are low, the stock market is high, the interest rates are going up, the stock market is going down and it could be the beginning of the huge correction. And also another interesting thing that you don't really need to be a uh, rocket scientist to follow and understand is the big boys. For example, Warren Buffett. What did Warren Buffett buy this year? What did he sell? Well, the thing is that with Warren Buffett, he sold 13 stocks out of his portfolio and he bought only five. So when the big dudes are buying less than they're selling, it's an interesting indicator in of itself. And then of course, for example, Bill Gates, he sold 14 stocks uh, in 2021, so I'm talking about 2021, and he bought only one. So that's quite interesting. So a lot of the, the stocks are actually being turned into cash in the world of big players. And so uh, Bill Ackman sold six and bought only two. So in big whales, they are releasing some of their stock holdings and turning them into cash or other assets like Warren Buffett. Right now, he holds about 20% uh, in cash. And Warren Buffett is actually a fan of cash, especially when the recession is coming because Warren Buffett is one of those people who says, prepare for the recession, save up as much money as you can to buy as much as you can because everything is gonna be selling at 50, 60, 70 cents on a dollar. So that's why you need cash to buy it. And that's why right now Warren Buffett has like $146 billion in cash just sitting there. If you think about it, it's a big expense because there's inflation and cash is all always losing value, etc. So that's why investors usually don't really like to keep too much of cash unless there is a recession coming. And if there is a market, I'm sorry, not just a recession, but the market, because the recession is already here, the market crash. So a big correction in the prices when the prices are going from 100 to 50 or whatever else. And that's when they buy and that's why they want cash. And that's my thinking as well, by the way, just jumping a little bit ahead. And one last question for this video is, so how long can this whole situation, this whole paradox, this whole pandemonium of idiocy and craziness can keep going on? Remember uh, the movie, what was it called? The, oh yes, The Big Short. Remember how they shorted the market? And by the way, if you haven't watched it, watch that movie. It's pretty, it explains the lunacy of the markets really well. And when they shorted the market, they were actually all expecting the market to go down because everything looked like shit. The housing market was like completely in the toilet because it was about to explode like a ton of C4. But it wasn't. And it just kept going up and up and up. And it's just a paradox. It's something that, happens in the market all the time. It's just driven by craziness, greed, and corporate life, I guess. So and this is something you have to keep in mind. This is what Warren Buffett says, says as well. This kind of craziness can keep going on for a long time. So keep an eye out for it. But the longer it goes on, the harder is going to be the explosion. Therefore, the bigger is going to be the correction. So better will be the prices. Right. Wish you all best of luck with your investments and I'll see you in the next video.